Well, I can tell you in the last few minutes, this area of Mugdock Reservoir has now been taped off. A development as part of this investigation examining what happened to 35-year-old teacher, Glasgow teacher, much loved teacher, Morel, uh, who lost her life earlier on this week. Her body, her remains were found inside the home that she has in Glasgow on the morning that she failed to turn up to her job at that school. We've heard tribute after tribute about how much she was loved, how much she was respected. But this uh, is an area of woodland, an area of reservoir, of water uh, that has been now taped off in the last few minutes. Uh, detectives focusing their investigation and confirming that they are linking this scene to the death of Morel as part of their investigation. And I can also tell you that just down in the bushes, just ahead of where we're standing there, were a number of officers who were inside those shrubs and were having a conversation. And shortly after that, uh, this cordon was uh, put up. Police, let me just remind you, confirming that they are still looking for a missing man as part of their inquiries, something that is linked to the death of Morel Sturrock. Uh, if we bring you round here as well, just over in the distance across the road, uh, we can see there uh, a number of specialist divers inside that vehicle and specialist equipment. Well, we can tell you as well that those divers have been in these waters, this reservoir, over the course of this morning. How is that forming part of their investigations? And also just up the road here, if we spin round uh, in this direction, up the road there, uh, police are searching wooded area. This is a large country park, uh, woodlands of more than 600 acres. What are they looking for? What are they examining as they piece together exactly what happened to this much-loved teacher? Well, earlier on this morning, we spoke to some parents outside the primary school where uh, Morel worked, Sandwood Primary in Glasgow, a school in mourning, and pupils now receiving psychological help as they come to terms with the loss of their teacher. So lovely, so very lovable. Um, friendly. She always helps her children if they fail, if they were like upset, emotional, she'd be looking after them, make them feel, I don't know how you put it, make them feel very loving, caring, loving. She just shocked. It's sad. I didn't, obviously it's getting treated as suspicious, so it's, well, obviously we're all in a bit of limbo. She treated the kids like her own, she picked them up. She had made them have confidence within themselves. She was just a lovely person. A to bubbly. hear that she's died as yeah, well. Yeah, it's really sad and tragic that mother, she's never going to be a mum herself at such a young age at 35. I mean, it's just tragic. Parents reflecting there on what has been a traumatising few days for them and their school community. A number of things still outstanding. The identity of the man that police are searching for in this country park. Uh, this area, as I said, taped off in the last few minutes. Will we find out exactly what is happening? Well, we are hoping for an update from Police Scotland detectives later on this afternoon.